they snap off the starting line. Green's hanging right next to him, and at the stripe, it's J.R. Todd, 397, with a two at 322 miles an hour. J.R. Todd has finally broken through his first victory since 2021. They came so close to the final when they made that final in Gainesville. They thought they were going to do it earlier this year. Oh, and he's been hollering almost the whole time. And JR, it's been 868 days since one of those has been in your hand. You told us earlier that winning was going to start snowballing for you. What's next for this team? Uh, just keep uh, doing what we're doing, Amanda. Going down the track like this. Uh, can't thank Todd Smith, Jono, the yellow fellas, everybody involved. Uh, Connie, we finally got one of these. He's going back to Jupiter with me. Oh, man, Chad Head. Toyota, Reg is here, he's our good luck charm. Can't thank everybody enough to do this here in wine country. Uh, all Toyota uh, winter circle here, it's great. Hopefully we keep doing this. Woo! Nobody's messing around here, they're in free stage. Top fuel final, Sonoma. Another big wheel stand for Ashley. Brown was out first and at the stripe it's Justin Ashley. 377, eight, Tony, it's just two thousandths of a second, <laughs> two thousandths. As he looks over, it's time slip. We just took an impressive look at that slow-mo of that wheel stand. How extraordinary is this season for you, Justin? Well, it's been amazing, and I think that's the beautiful part about NHRA drag racing is a lot of people see what happens on the racetrack, and I'm the driver who gets to have fun, but what about the team who puts it together? And Mike Green and Tommy Lago, this car was on rails all weekend long. And how about our teammate, Antron Brown? This is a Team Toyota double up, and we had a Team Toyota final right there, and they ran great all weekend long. Just so great for Phillips Connect, Toyota, Kato, Mac Tools, Impact, all our awesome sponsors. Thank you guys. Matt Smith will try to break that rhythm just like a good boxer would. It's a foreign conversation that we're having about Matt Smith and speaking about him in these underdog tones. This is not, we've not talked about this guy this way <laughs> in about 15 years. But, you know, there have been a few times that we counted Matt Smith out and it, it sounds like his bike may not be starting. Nah, they're looking across the racetrack, the motorcycle turning. Oh boy, Smith dips his head. If they have not completely capitulated at this moment, he's getting off the motorcycle. Gage Herrera begins to shake his head almost in disbelief. It does appear they're going to make one last ditch effort to start this bike. There is no worse sound in this universe to Matt Smith than that little hum of an electric starter. Yeah, they're looking for ignition. That's what we're listening to if this engine, we can turn it over all you want. If there's no spark, this motor or this bike will not fire. It will not fire. Gage Herrera completes his burnout. It is done, it is over. As soon as he breaks the beam on the starting line, this feat, which we talked about, the first opportunity for it to happen in NHRA history. They never run the three races of the Western Swing is now a foregone conclusion. Yeah, and it's interesting to see Gage Herrera, he shook his head. He's actually disappointed. He wanted this matchup. He wanted to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You know, Gage Herrera is a rookie. He was racing at, at a very select few races last year, but he's been watching Matt Smith over the years. And, yeah. you know, if this is just it was the right opportunity for the number one and number two qualifiers to go toe to toe and i think that gage wanted it almost as much as matt smith and there goes gage herrera Vinny, Vini, beachy he came he saw he conquered 677 5 at 198. Gage, there is a lot that you're about to acquire right here. First, that is that broom for the sweep, the Wally, your sixth of the season. You get that medal. There's going to be a winner's hat. And oh, one more thing. There is a chalice that you're going to be drinking wine out of here shortly. And Gage, we talked to Andrew just prior to your run, just about what we've seen about you this season. Well, you've done something that even Andrew Hines hasn't done, and that is sweep the swing. When you think of these accomplishments, how has Andrew's belief in you fostered your growth? I mean, uh... I still can't put in the words, you know, I'm still a kid at all when, you know, from the day he called me to join the Van Science team, you know, and uh, to be able to do this and sweep the swing for the first time for the old Van Science Mission Suzuki team and for Andrew and, you know, all the hard work he puts in and all the guys at the shop, I mean, it's uh, it's incredible. And uh, I hate that we got it that way. You know, I really wanted to race Matt and uh, he had a little issue on the starting line and I waited as long as I could, but uh, at the end of the day, we got the win and uh, I'm, uh, I'm so excited. I'm out of words, time to celebrate.
Welding. Pumps, regulators, filters. Fueling champions. Handicap head start. Going to go to Trey Vetter. The yellow car will go first. Justin Lamb on the chase. Both drivers get away on the green. Trey Vetter is out in front, and Justin Lamb is reeling him in. The screaming, a little modified, pulling up against the SS396. Justin Lamb for the win. He runs dead on sixth. Predicted he was going to run 897. He ran 8.976 by four generations. Handicap, as I said, 1.02. They're ready. Red light start for Bo. Bo smashed the gas 400s too soon, and Leo Glassbrenner wins a 938 on a 937. 141 the speed. The celebration begins for Team Remac. For Lindsay and the group, Leo Glassbrenner, national event win number 11, 938 on a 937. And Bo Butner clocked out early by four hundredths of a second. 8.9 seconds after that light flashes at this end, we'll know where the trophy's going. Both drivers get away on the green. Staring each other's eyes out down to the finish line, stride by six thousandths of a second. 892 beats 892. And Parker Theobald, you want to beat Parker? Don't wait until the end of the day. Three times he's been in a trophy dash. Three times he's gone home with a trophy. And Paz. Deep breath. Roll forward. And go. Then it's going to get way on down there. He runs a top end throttle stop. Now watch Kowalski closing him in. Dennis finally closed the deal. Look at him going down on the starting line. How about 003 dead five? You think he was taking that seriously? Evan Kowalski had an 019 reaction time and had no chance. So for Dennis Paz, five times he came to a final round. Thode's going. Power adders. For what? 673 cubic inches. Couple of big old four barrels, dialed in 671. He'll be off and running the turbo car on the chase. Both drivers get away on the green. Don London trying to hold on. There's your winner, 617, 220 miles an hour. Don London has a double 07 reaction time and takes it right to the winner's circle. A first time winner is Don London. Chris Thoden, one time. Put that bouncing ball on top of the scoreboard and go home with the trophy. And both drivers get away on the green. Keller looked like drifting a little bit towards the center line, but he's going to win it by two thousandths of a second. When they cut loose in reaction time, they were separated by 003. At the finish line, they were separated by 002. Ted Kellner picks up win number four. Both drivers are in and ready. Watch the cars on the starting line. See if you can pick who moves first. Reaction time is key. We got a small block in the El Camino. We got a big block in the Chevelle. We got Dennis. We got Kenny. We got a first time winner. And his name is Kenny Snow. 1092 beats a 1094. And look at him on the starting line. 100 to the finish line stripe. They were separated by six thousandths of a second. Advantage Dennis on reaction time. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest in drag racing content and some awesome old school races. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play.